hey y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome to my channel if you read by that title we are going to be making a lisa frank tumbler using htv vinyl and a stainless steel tumbler so what you're going to need for today is your htv vinyl of your choice i chose this pretty cute little thing because it's just speaking lisa frank to me you're going to need some heat protecting gloves oven mitts or you know the little silicone things this right here i got with my um heat press for my mug those are the actual heat protectant gloves um and of course you're going to need a stainless steel tumbler heat transfer tape or any tape that's heat resistant that's not going to melt a heat gun or you can use a tumbler press if you have one just be careful with the heat settings i did both so i've already got my heat transfer vinyl cut out i will put the um measurements in the description because i can't remember the exact measurements but i will put them there for you this may take you a few tries but don't give up it happens to the best of us i had it where i wanted then i moved and then it messed up so i had to redo it again but it's okay because trial and error you know i'm perfect or i try to be as perfect as i can be and sometimes that gets the best of me because I'd be so hard on myself but all i'm gonna do is place my heat tape on there and i'm gonna take it off again because as i get to the top i notice that it's a little crooked and i kind of want it to be a little bit unison so especially at the top Some heat transfer vinyls also come with a little clear film on it to protect the actual vinyl from not getting um, burnt whenever you're doing a heat press. So if you have yours on there, this one, this particular one didn't have one, but if you have one on there, I would suggest leaving that on there until you finish heating it up. So that way you don't overheat your vinyl. If you do have a tumbler press, like I said earlier, make sure that you're careful with the heat settings. I would not do a normal heat setting for like a regular sublimation tumbler. I would try probably keep it between 300 and 350 at about 60 seconds. I wouldn't do any longer. You definitely want to make sure that you're not burning it because if you burn it, it's going to start wrinkling. And I like that texture. I actually use that texture for a design during trial and error for you guys so just be careful with the heat settings if you're using a tumbler press versus the heat gun okay now that we got the tape secured the vinyl secured i'm gonna go ahead and put on my heat protecting gloves because it will get hot what i like to do is i like to make sure that i press am i still yeah that that's pretty look, look at that look at that okay squirrel get back on topic so i'm gonna put my heat transfer gloves on and i'm gonna go in with the heat gun the parts that you definitely want to make sure that you're paying attention to is the seam the edges the rim the bottom all that good stuff make sure that it's not wrinkling i like to take my hand and you'll see me go through it and press up or press down or you know just kind of make sure that it's actually sticking and i also like to heat up my tumbler before i apply this but because this is beginner friendly if you're not used or you don't know how to do that and you don't know how to secure your htv vinyl properly then i will wait until you get a little bit more mastered at it before you heat up your tumbler because if your tumbler is hot and you put that htv vinyl on there it's going to stick and it's going to be hard for you to remove it. And because it has that heat activated adhesive, it's going to be a lot harder to get it off versus the vinyl. Now I'm going to solely focus on the edges, making sure those edges are perfect. Alrighty, after 45 minutes later, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but now that everything is all stuck and put together, I'm going to go ahead and remove that tape. 
I'm still going to keep that heat protecting and glove on because if you don't know, that thing is hot. So, yeah. Just going to keep making sure that I get it all off. Make sure I don't mess up the vinyl. It's not going to go anywhere. That thing is on there, okay? I can't get over how cute this vinyl is. Uh... Now, you can go in with the design of your choice. I chose to do the UVDTF prints because it's just easy. It's already done. The only thing I have to do is peel and apply. Now, if you know me from social media and you know my obsession with these UVDTF prints, prints you know that I like the ones that you can cut and place on your own that way my design does not look like the next person's design I do like to keep it together though like if one side is a different design or the other side is a different design I do like to keep that part there so therefore I'm not placing more design on one side than the other or you know when I get the strategically placing you know it makes sense so, unfortunately, these parts right here um, were not, I wasn't able to cut because it was linked to the design, but it still gives it a lot of character. Now, I'm just going to go in and squeeze you with this thing, and then I'm going to make sure that placement is where I want, where those colors blend in, and then I'm going to peel, and then just like that, you squeeze it, and then you peel it off. Easy as pie. Now, I'm going to fast forward this so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me place all those pieces because it's a lot of pieces. Um, so just enjoy. Again, y'all, I am a perfectionist, so I am going to use these bigger pieces to kind of hide that seam um, and kind of cover up that imperfection because it looked right at first, but then now that I'm looking at it, it's like, okay, I can obviously see that. Uh, so I'm just going to use some little pieces to cover that up, at least the bad parts of it, and then you can't tell. <music> Now all uh, the pieces to the puzzle is linked together and this is what it looks like. It's beautiful. So now I'm going to go in with my first layer of epoxy and I'm going to show you guys the whole thing because this is a step-by-step -step video. Epoxy time. Ah, epoxy time. I get so excited about epoxy time because that's when you really get to see like your design design like in glass shape form and oh my gosh i just love it like ooh, get into it oh yeah epoxy <laughs> so yeah i'm just gonna place my epoxy on i am using jessica flynn's epoxy um i love this epoxy she really nailed the head with the epoxy and i'm gonna take big bertha over there big blue and I'm going to go in and pop her and then you're going to see me use the rest of that epoxy in the mold because no epoxy wasted here is too high. So yeah, now I'm going to just let that spin and do its thing. I'm going to hit it with the torch, make sure I pop them bubbles. And this is the close up on how it looks. Look at it. Ooh -wee. Ooh -wee. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Be professional. But this is what it looks like. See you for the next part. 
Now for the butt of the cup. <laughs> but seriously though, um, what I like to do for these hog tumblers or any tumblers that kind of look like that on the bottom, I like to give it like a uniform look with the cup. Like I don't like that that normal regular look or whatever. So I like to give it a little glitter at the bottom, you know, if it's not a glitter tumbler. So all I did was I went in and I picked colors that were similar to the design. And I'm just going to use my rocking resin UV resin um, and go in and put each color on the bottom. Once I show you how I do the pink, I am just going to speed it up and let y'all listen to some music while I speed it up because this is all I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little stir stick, I'm a little spoon, and I'm going to put enough in there so that, you know, ooh, okay, okay, look at it. Woo! I'm just stir it. And then I'm going to do each one of these and then we're going to be back to see the pour. Okay. And then my little chunky hand going to be in the way. FYI. Spoiler alert. So I decided to hit it with a little bit of um, like this holographic color because I was like, I needed something to kind of make that bottom pop a little bit better because you know, your color is supposed to match your glitter or your background is supposed to match your glitter. But because this tumbler has like a holographic effect, I decided to go ahead and do that at the bottom so that the colors too have that flash of holographic effect as well as their actual effects of the glitter. And then I'm just gonna pop that on for about 30 seconds. Now I almost made a boo-boo because that UV resin was sitting right there and I decided to hit that heat lamp, that UV lamp on there. Ooh, I panicked, but look at that. Isn't it pretty? So I just kept the same colors as like the main colors. I didn't want to do all the colors of the rainbow because the bottom isn't as big as the whole tumbler. So I'm just going to go around and around and around and around and around. Those colors are cute. Oh my gosh. I love me a good purple, y'all. If purple ain't in it, I don't know what to say. So then I'm going to clean it up with the alcohol and my shot back. Uh, what's those things called? Shot back paper towels. Hit it with a little light. Make a cute little design. Throw my emblem in there. Ooh, -wee, look at it. Clean it again. Hit it again. Hit it again, girl. Hit it again. And then I'm going to pop that UV light on for 60 seconds, 30 seconds, and then another 30 seconds. I'm going to touch the bottom, make sure it's good. Um, I like to touch around my emblem because sometimes it doesn't dry as good around the emblem. And then I'm just going to give it a light sand. Um, that way I can cover up my emblem because if, as you've seen just now, I just stuck it in there. I didn't really do anything to it. I always spray it with alcohol. It definitely to clean it. I don't, you don't want to scrape it if you do decide to do it. Then I'm going to use my X-Acto knife to clean the rim. Hit it with another thing of UV resin. Let me tell y'all something about this UV resin. A little goes a long way with this stuff. I'm not affiliated. I'm not associated or none of that with this. This stuff is just awesome. I can't remember. I think it was Jenna from Bodega Boutique that introduced me to this brand. But I love this stuff. It's worth the money for it. <laughs> Okay, so now this tumbler is ready for its final step of the process. It's ready to be sanded and the final layer of epoxy go on it, okay? If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, drop them in the comment section and I will answer them. Make sure you like, subscribe, put, turn on your notification bell, share, save if you love this video or if you love and appreciate everything that I'm doing. I'm going in with the sanding block at 80 grits. It's linked in my Amazon storefront. I will put that in the description and I will see you guys soon. Follow me on social media, the Tumblr, DR underscore TikTok and Instagram. And I will see you for the next video. The reveal is coming up soon. Don't skip. You don't want to miss. Okay. Oh, and listen, one more thing. Make sure you get them corners and them, them edges really, 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 really well. Because when you get the sanding, like you see how I'm touching that thing, that's how you see them imperfections. 
And if you miss them imperfections, when you go to put your epoxy on, your pots are going to be all lumpy, bumpy, gumpy, and ain't nobody got time for that. And then you're going to have to do another coat and then another coat. And then it just becomes like a tumbler full of epoxy at this point because you got so many layers of epoxy. Definitely sand it. Don't, it should not be no glossy spots when you get the sanding, okay? Sand it like it's your last time sanding. Something else that you don't want to forget to do is you also don't want to forget to sand that rim, okay? Make sure you get that rim. I clean my rims through each coat of epoxy because you don't want all that layers of epoxy being stuck on there and then making it hard for your process at the end. So I'm starting off with a clean, good rim, just like if I was doing my first coat of epoxy. Don't skip out on the sanding because your hand hurts or your arm hurts because that's going to make or break your process. You know what I'm saying? If you're trying to get them tumblers up and at them, baby, you see how that wrist turned? You got to, you got to turn that wrist and get them get that sanding, okay? And I ain't worried about the emblem this time because it's covered. So it's all good, all good in the hood. If your hand ain't looking like mine in a second, then, you know, I don't know what you're really doing with your sanding block, okay? But <laughs> you'll see you'll see that dust the hand in a second. You give it about five, four, three, two, there it go. You see that thumb? Look at it. Okay. But I'm 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 joking, y'all, but for real, don't skip out on the sanding because especially when you use that UV resin, because you see that little sanding spot right there that I keep going back at. That's UV resin that, you know, just kind of got stuck from me wiping and all that other stuff, slinging that UV resin all over the place. So definitely don't skip on it. You're not going to hurt it at this point because it's all this tumbler right here right now, I think has two coats of epoxy. So I'm not going to hurt it by sanding it. And it has two layers of UV resin. So, yep. Once I get that done, I'm going to spray it down with some alcohol and that shop vac because that's my favorite. Is it shop vac? It's like the auto paper towels that the people in the auto shops use. It's lint free, so you don't really have to worry about it. That's why I like it versus like the regular paper towels. Or you could do a microfiber cloth. Just make sure that you're cleaning your cloth throughout each, you know, sanding part of epoxy. Because then those layers just get clumped up in the microfibers. So I always spread on the, the paper towel and then do the tumbler so I don't have like spots. Look at that hand, y'all. That's sanding. Sanding. So I'm going to go in with that coat and then I'll see y'all later for the beat reveal. watching my video. See y'all next Sunday. Bye.